Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew here, and today we are working on this guitar. So, it's a DECA hollow body guitar. So we got a bunch of stuff to do to this thing. Um, it's completely tore apart, that's how I got it. I'm doing a repair on it, and all the parts are in this bag, or most of the parts are in this bag anyways. So, um, it has a pick guard, and it has a tremolo system, something like that, that kind of works like that, it goes on the back. It's got a set of pickups in it, but the pickups don't work, so... I'm going to have to be winding a set of pickups, I guess, or trying to buy a set of pickups. These are the pickups that came out of it, but they don't work. So I'm either going to try to find a replica replacement of these or make a custom set that matches these dimensions in order for it to work on this guitar. Uh, I don't know. These are supposed to be chrome, but all the chrome's coming off. They look kind of like crap, but they don't work anyways. And I haven't really torn them apart to see, but... They might not be, be worth even tearing apart to look at them. Um, it's got a control cavity cover that has um, a jack, two pots of volume and a tone, and then two buttons that I assume split the pickups. I have no idea. I won't know about that till I get into it more. But that will all be replaced. The two pots will be replaced on both of these. Um, Switches will be replaced. The jack will be replaced. That'll all get new parts on it. And it's got a set of pickup rings that are broken, so they'll have to be replaced also. And I think that's it for the way of the parts. Now, on the guitar itself, the body is in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of wear, but not. It's got some scratches and stuff, but nothing major. No cracks. No nothing like that. The only thing with the neck is, it's got that big chunk right here. And I'll have to fill that in with something, I'm not sure yet what. But we'll fill something in there to get that smooth. And then it's also missing a nut. And the tuners on this thing, they look pretty bad. But he said he wanted to try to use them. So if I can get them to work, we'll use them. If not, I'll have to replace them. If I can find anything like that. So that's the guitar and all the parts for it. So now comes the fun part of putting it all back together. So the first thing I'm going to check is I'm going to see if this truss rod is working. Because if this truss rod is not working, then it's going to have to be replaced. Which means um, I got another problem. Which if the truss rod is not working, then I'm going to have to replace the truss rod, replace the neck. And then at that point, I'm not sure if this guitar is even worth fixing but I've seen something just now yeah that's not good I just now noticed that there is a crack that runs let's see if I can get this in the camera here's a crack that runs from here down through each one of these tuning pegs and down to this bolt right here and it's the whole way through the neck it's on the back side too you can see the crack here and you might not be able to see it but there's a crack on this side and that side and this side down to there so if I take these turner, tuners out, more than likely this chunk of wood here will fall completely off. So that might be a problem. But let's see if this truss rod works. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that truss rod, I don't know if it's going to move. It's not moving right now. Mm, that truss rod is bound up. <laughs> oh, man, it's not budging at all. I don't want to go anymore because it's going to end up breaking. Let's see if we can do this. Alright, 
So between the truss rod not working and the crack in the peg head, this thing might be done before we get started. Let me check something real quick here. Um, what scale length is this? Well, I'll see if I actually got to adjust the truss rod, but more than likely. So it's got an up bow in the center of it. But I don't even know what scale this is. It's not a 25 and a half and not a 24 and three quarter. So let me see what scale length this thing is. If we measure from the back of the nut to the 12th fret, 12, it's a 24 inch scale. Okay. It's a 24 inch scale. So this ain't going to work. All right. So I'm about six and a half or so minutes into this video and I'm basically done because I can't do anything. This truss rod, I can't get it to move at all. I cranked on a little bit off camera. It's not budging. If I start cranking on, it's going to either it's broke already or it's just seized up so bad inside. The other thing is this cracked peg head, which I didn't notice before, but it's cracked the whole way through. Um, I don't know. I mean, I can glue that back on. It's not that big of a deal. I can pull it off and put glue in it and tape it up and glue it back on. So that's that's a fix that's fixable. But I got to go ahead and send this guy a message and tell him about this truss rod and see what he wants me to do. Because if I have to build a neck for this thing, you know, the guitar's not even worth. He's going to have more money probably in the neck than the whole guitar is worth. And he's probably going to have probably close $300 in getting this thing repaired. That's a lot of money for a no name guitar so anyways this will be part one i don't know if we'll do a part two if we'll get that far or not i gotta go ahead and send him a message get a hold of him let him know what's going on see what he wants to do and we'll go from there if he decides to go ahead and fix it or if i can get this truss rod to move then we'll do a part two where we'll actually start putting this stuff back together but that's it thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um and I'll see you in another video.